At the beginning of the year, this Vietnamese town turns a sea of pink. About 70% of Quang Phu Cao village make incense sticks. That's about 3,000 households, all in preparation for Tet, or Vietnamese Lunar New Year, the country's most important holiday. Artisans here have made these colorful incense sticks for generations. But the industry almost didn't survive. Many young workers left for more lucrative jobs. Then in 2019, India, the village's biggest customer, restricted imports of Vietnamese incense sticks. So T had to change his production process and find buyers within Vietnam. Through his cooperative, he's been able to stay afloat, crafting 50,000 sticks a day. We visited the village's largest factory to see how it's keeping the incense tradition alive. Incense sticks have two parts, the core stick and the incense powder. Once the bark is harvested, farmers bring the bunches here to be weighed and sold. Just down the road, villagers carefully split the bark into smaller sticks and lay them out to dry in giant stacks around town. Next, they head to the chopper. With the machine's help, they can chop tens of thousands of sticks in a day. Which can be up to 16 inches long. Then they're trucked to T's incense factory. Here, workers sort the stems into bunches. Then they hand dip the ends in colorful buckets of dye. They're dyed either pink, which represents the lotus, Vietnam's national flower, or red for the country's flag. Carefully, the bunches are fanned out to dry. In preparation for the Tet holiday, workers blanket the village in these pink bunches. Over on the other side of the factory, workers make the incense powder. In this village, locally harvested canarium sap is mixed with charcoal for the signature black color. The exact proportions are secret. This mixture gives the sticks their fragrance when burned. Once the pink sticks are done drying, workers feed them into one of these machines. It automatically coats on the incense powder. Workers dry the sticks a second time. They need good temperature and lots of sun, because if the incense is wet, it won't burn. Next, workers package up the sticks in plastic. Today, tea sells mostly to wholesalers within Vietnam, at 65 cents a bunch. But like most of this village, tea used to sell primarily to India, about 300 tons a year. Those sticks, used in religious worship, were shorter, and tea added no fragrance because Indian buyers preferred to add their own. India was Vietnam's biggest customer. By some estimates, 90% of India's incense imports came from Vietnam. But in 2019, India partially banned imported Vietnamese incense sticks. Paired with younger generations leaving for other jobs, Quang Phu Gao's incense industry struggled. Wanting to keep the century-old tradition alive, T got creative. First, he designed the product to better reflect Vietnamese tastes. He cut the sticks longer, dyed them pink, and added fragrance. Then he added machines to speed up production. The workers went from being able to make 500 sticks a day by hand to 50,000 using machines. T also launched a cooperative with 12 other incense makers in the village. 
That way, he could recruit more workers outside his village. Next, he set out to find new buyers inside Vietnam to replace his lost business from India. So T got his product registered with the National Office of Intellectual Property. Now his products are traceable with barcodes, making it easier to find domestic wholesale buyers. Today, T sells about 80 tons domestically each year. That's less than a third of what he sold to India. But he has ramped up production for Vietnamese customers. Now his cooperative's factory is the largest in the village. T now has enough capacity to prepare for his biggest event of the year, Tet. Incense sticks are used in religious ceremonies in temples year-round. The line of incense smoke is said to connect the spiritual world to this one. But come Vietnamese Lunar New Year, usually in January or February, the factory runs all year, but in the lead up to Tet, T earns 40% more in revenue, and his team makes 200 more pounds of incense sticks daily. He also makes yellow, brown, and red sticks, as well as incense coils and cones. They spread the sweet aroma of the Quang Phu Cao incense village across Vietnam.